Hello hikers and nature lovers, this is Blue Jacket, thank you for watching my channel. Our next adventure is going to be mainly about history, here in coastal Virginia, in the area commonly known as the America's Historic Triangle. This charming section of the Virginia Peninsula, bounded by the York River on the north and James River on the south, includes three historic colonial communities, Jamestown, Williamsburg and Yorktown. The first site we will explore is Jamestown, following the steps and uncovering the deepest roots of first settlers. Let's get started. Happy trails! This is the entrance point to the Jamestown Island. It's mostly wetland here and swamp. Jamestown is known as the first permanent English settlement in the New World, established in 1607 on the bank of James River. And this is James River, where America said hello to England in 1607. Those are replicas of the three ships that brought the first settlers over the Atlantic Ocean. That's Godspeed, Susan Constant, and Discovery. This is Captain John Smith's statue. He was elected Governor of Virginia in 1608 for one year term. Under his leadership, the colony prospered. This is iconic church tower, the only 17th century standing structure on the island. The memorial church behind was built later. Artillery battery was placed on the bank of James River to protect the settlement from the possible naval attack. This is a replica of barracks standing right behind the artillery battery. This is a historical blacksmith shop. This is Pocahontas statue. When the English settlers arrived, she was 10 years old and she lived here with her father and her tribe. This short loop is connecting some of the ruins of the first settlers' houses. In 1619, first African slaves were deported to Jamestown Island. Those are ruins of Ember House, built in 1750 as the centerpiece of the fine plantation estate.
This obelisk is Tercentennial Monument, erected in 1907 to celebrate the 300th anniversary of the settlement. The monument is 104 feet tall in the memory of 104 first settlers. That's all from Jamestown. We're gonna hit the Colonial Parkway that will bring us to the next side of our history tour. Second point of that historic triangle is Colonial Williamsburg, an open air museum where we will experience an early American life. Williamsburg was the capital of the Virginia colony between 1699 and 1780, and this is the old capital building. Williamsburg historic area was restored and recreated in late 20s, especially thanks to John D. Rockefeller Jr., financier and philanthropist, and the only son of oil magnate John Rockefeller. Colonial Williamsburg is spreading on 301 acres, including 88 original buildings and dozens of reconstructed structures from across the centuries.
reenactors are introducing to visitors a life in Williamsburg in 18th century. This is the former Governor's Palace, the third largest public building in Colonial Williamsburg. 3,380 square feet Georgian house required 25 servants and slaves to tend. We will leave the colonial Williamsburg now, but not the 18th century. The colonial parkway will bring us to the last side of our journey. Finally, the third pike of that historic triangle is Yorktown, a final stage of the American Revolution and birthplace of freedom and independence for our country. The Battle of Yorktown, also known as Siege of Yorktown, began September 28 and ended on October 19, 1781. Combined forces of the American Continental Army, led by General George Washington, with support of Marquis de Lafayette, French army led by Comte de Rochambeau and French fleet forced British General Cornwallis to surrender. This last major battle of the American Revolution led to negotiations for peace with the British and the signing of the Treaty of Paris in 1783. This untouched original British Redoubt was built as a key defensive position on only land access to Yorktown. However, it was never used. General Cornwallis, on September 30th, 1781, abounded this spot and pulled his troops back to Yorktown. This is the site of the French artillery park This single cross 
is a burial place of about 50 unidentified French soldiers killed during the siege of Yorktown. This is second Allied siege line constructed under the cover of darkness between October 11 and October 12. At the daybreak, the British saw that Allies forces had them within point-blank artillery range. The British inner defense line is right in front of us, only about 360 yards away. This is British inner defense line. This is scale replica of Redoubt 9. Redoubt 10 is about 150 yards away from us. Both redoubts were protecting British left flank. On the night of October 14, 400 hand-picked French soldiers attacked Redoubt 9 and 400 American soldiers under the leadership of Alexander Hamilton attacked Redoubt 10 using just bayonets. Both units fully used the element of surprise and the cover of night and took both redoubts within 30 minutes. Taking the redoubts gave the French and American forces the upper hand to fire directly on Yorktown and force the British to surrender. This is Moore House, erected around 1725, the site of the surrender negotiations between Generals Washington and Cornwallis. After two days of heated talks, the final articles of capitulation were signed on October 19, 1781. On October 19, after signing the articles of capitulation, British forces marched from heavily damaged Yorktown to this field and surrender to French and American armies. General Cornwallis, pleading illness, did not accompany his men. Those are some of the artillery pieces captured here on October 19. This is Yorktown Victory Monument. Although the monument was authorized by Continental Congress on October 29, 1781, it was completed more than 100 years later in 1884. The monument is 84 feet tall plus 14 feet the statue. Atop is a figure of liberty herself. Those 13 sculptures of female figures, hand in hand, represents the unity of 13 original colonies. We're gonna take a stroll through Yorktown Old Town.
This is Yorktown Riverwalk Landing. And this is York River, where America said goodbye to England in 1781. That's all from the America's Historic Triangle. Thank you for joining me on this agent journey and I will see you next time for another adventure. Happy trails!